Come on, back to our lesson. Before the devil deceived man, the earth was ran by supernatural means. See that? Before the devil deceived man, it was supernatural. Why? They didn't even need rain. The first rain on the earth didn't come till Noah. They had never seen rain before. They wasn't sitting in it. They had to till the land. They had to do nothing. Everything was happening automatic. Everything. And you know what I'm talking about? You could come out to Adam and you come out there joining them all. And they just walk with God. God said, hey, what's happening? We, we all right. What, what's oh, Well, we're doing this today. This, this. Watch what I'm doing. They just walking with God. They had that thing nice. They didn't need no Holy Spirit. They had a direct hook line talking to them. Everything was ran in the supernatural. Everything. When he told him to name the animals and all this kind of stuff, this not, this just clicked in his mind supernatural. Everything was just happening. The joint was just laid. Nice. Everything he needed. Do you see what happened? But all y'all think is he bit the apple. That's why you're late. More happened in the Garden of Eve than the apple was bit. You know what he did? He bit your future. He stole from you. He took from you. He took that thing from you so bad that God had to come all the way around and redeem you and you didn't even want to be redeemed. Let us go. The moment that man decided to disobey God, it opened up a natural realm in the world. A natural realm. They knew nothing about the natural. They went around butt naked. Nice. They ain't nothing about no natural. Huh? Wasn't no pollution. They probably didn't even have fox. That's how clean they was. They didn't have no pollution. I mean, they were, they were nice. I mean, they walk around. I mean, you know, I mean, but it wasn't nothing. Like, everything was clean. Everything was good. Huh? Y'all laughing, but y'all don't realize how everything is stink. And you know what I'm saying? And most of us today are ashamed of our bodies. We cover it up. Especially when you get them inner tubes on your stomach. Get little pounds on you. See, when you're young and frisky, everybody want flex. <laughs> Let us go. It opened up a natural realm in the world. What happened? It opened up a what, church? A natural realm. This is what we're fighting against now. The natural realm of the world. This is why the devil want to keep you in the natural and not let you tap into the supernatural. Because he can defeat you in the natural because in the natural realm, he's God. He's the God of the natural. And God is the God of the supernatural. And choose not to rule the natural because the supernatural supersedes the natural. Come on. It opened up a natural realm in the world that man was not equipped to handle. See, we wasn't equipped to handle it. And you know one thing about it? The majority of the people sitting in this church ain't equipped to handle it because they're not trying to equip themselves to handle it. And I'm going to hip you to what you need to learn handling. See, you got to set some goals. To get where you got to go. You better learn how to handle the natural with the supernatural or the natural going to weigh you down. You know why me and Didi still married today? Because we done got out the natural. And if we stayed in the natural, we'd be burned up. We'd be burned up. Because sometimes I get the trip and she get the trip and this and that. And we say, oh, time to get up out here. Shh. It's called humbling yourself. It's called regardless of how I feel or her feel. Let's do what the books say. See, that's super niche, natural. Some of y'all call that being a fool. Let us go. We will come back to the Garden of Eden in a moment. But let me show you what happened. The supernatural battle started with Adam and Eve, mm -hmm. God's representatives in the earth. That's right. Adam and Eve was the God's first representatives. In the supernatural, not in the natural. Because everything he was doing for them was through the supernatural. Okay? You know how much we strain to hear God's voice today and they could just hear it anytime they wanted? Do you know sometimes we get to the point, we need rain to grow stuff, we need this, we need money and all that, and God gave them everything they wanted? He was their representative. They was the representatives. Come on. Here's what really happened in detail that often goes unseen. See? Now, I'm going to take you into what you didn't see. I'm going to grow you up a path. Oh, Adam bit the apple. Eve gave it to him. 
No. Your position was moved. Not playing checkers. A chess game was played. And the devil said, checkmate. But God said, the tournament ain't over. It's the best out of three. Y'all yeah. understand that, did you? <laughs> huh? Amen. He said, you got the garden, you got the Old Testament, and the new. Best out of three. You won one. <laughs> huh? Amen. Let us go. The progression goes like this. First, obedience versus disobedience. The first thing was at a stake. Stake was obedience versus disobedience. Let's talk about that. The devil knew he couldn't catch them. So he had to get them to be disobedient. The devil knew he can't catch y'all unless he gets you to be disobedient. And when you get disobedient, then the law that God set up work against you. Come on, duty. Romans chapter 6, verse 16. Now, I'm, I'm taking y'all outside of the garden, so when I bring y'all back in, we all going to be naked again. When I say naked, we ain't going to be ashamed of what happened because we know what happened. And we ain't going to be ashamed to be naked before our God because we're going to confess our sins. We're going to believe we're healed. We're going to believe we're clear. And he see nothing but himself. We naked again. But if you're holding something, if you don't want to live up to the word, you can't get naked. You can't come before God and be clean. So I'm going to take you outside the garden. Show you how this thing works. Then when we go back to God, we're going to be ready. We're going to be ready to walk in the garden and talk with God again. How many, how many of y'all scared to hear what God say when you do something wrong? See, when you get naked before him, you say, hey, God, good morning. Everything all right? But when you do something, you're looking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Taking away from that fiery judgment. That's right. Come on, dude. Let's look at Romans chapter 6, verse 16. Turn on over there. Take your time and get over it. I'm not going to speed you because this one going to revolutionize your life. Go give you some power. Everybody there? Let us go. Verse 16. Do you not know? He said, don't you know? See, this is what Adam and Eve didn't know. That God tells us now to keep our anointing strong. They didn't know this. They didn't have the word. See, they didn't know what was going to happen. They never did. He said, do you not? Don't we know? Okay, come on. Do you not know that when you present yourselves to someone as slaves, as slaves, or whoever you obey, or whoever you listen to, or whatever you do, do you not know? Come on. Slaves for obedience. Uh-huh. You are slaves to the one whom you obey. See that? Whatever you obey, that's what you're going to be a slave to. See, I don't obey the bills in this church more than I obey what the words say that God going to provide. I don't obey my attitude more than I know I'm a new creature. Huh? I don't obey my thoughts when God said cast down imagination in every high thing. See, you got to say, I'm not going to come a slave to that mess. Because I don't check out of here. I used to be there. But I'm back in the supernatural. I'm walking in the garden again. Naked. That's right. Because when I come before God, and just like all of you in here, unless you don't sin in your mind between now and that prayer, when we ask God to forgive us all our sins, we naked again. We righteous. He ain't seeing no wickedness in us. See, you got to believe what the supernatural did rather than your mind told Or oh, your mind said you was out there last night doing that. Hey, God don't care about what you did now. His blood just cleansed it. You're naked again. Somebody asked you, say, well, what you think about what you do? Say, I'm naked. I done dumped that thing. I'm cleansed now. See, this is what the devil wants you to do. Get under condemnation. Long as you get under condemnation, long as you're looking at your situation rather than the solution, who is Jesus, you'll never get up. Bound you. Come on. You are slaves of the, of the one whom you obey. See that? Whoever you obey, that's who your master is. Whether you claim him as master or not. Huh? Come on. Either of sin resulting in death. Uh-oh. He said either of sin caused by the evil one, the devil. Go ahead. Or of obedience. Oh, obedience. Go ahead. Resulting in righteousness. It's caused by what? Jesus Christ. 